This is Jim here on Educator.com, lessons on WordPress. So today we're going to start a WordPress blog. We're going to talk about the blogging as opposed to the uh, actual website. Blogging, as if you recalled in the previous lesson, I talked about the WordPress.com website. Pretty much for those who want to be journalists or those who want to share something, comment on something, or just keep a diary, this is the place for you. We're going to talk about it. In, so it covers basically uh, all purposes, whatever the reason may be. We're going to talk about the different features. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And, uh, you know, assuming uh, that you're trying to get an audience or trying to share blogging, I mean, blogging can be private or public, whatever the case may be. Uh, in this, uh, like I'm, I'm not making any assumptions over here. I'm here to introduce you to different features of WordPress to get you started, and then you can, of course, decide. So this lesson, we're just going to cover, again, we're, we're getting deeper and deeper into WordPress, but we're going to cover uh, some of the features of the dashboard and the control panel. So we're going to be actually logging into WordPress right now. So for those of you who do not have a WordPress website, you may want to go to WordPress.com uh, and uh, go ahead and log in and create an account. So uh, we're going to talk about that uh, if you want to fast forward and uh, follow along over here. So today uh, in this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, target audience and uh, you know some of you may want to share things like if you're a cook you may want to share about your recipes if you're a florist you want to talk share about uh, gardening if you are a car mechanic talk about you know, car mechanics if you're a web designer talk about the internet and uh, so anyways this is basically what it is we're going to talk about building a target audience coming up with a good name for your blog that's pretty important and we'll talk about setting up an account uh, we're going to have that tour of the dashboard, and then uh, pretty much you can decide at that point if you want to have a blog or a website. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to be focusing uh, primarily on the blog today, and uh, you know, again, it's again, I want to list down for those of you who just want to write, okay, uh, and it's for journal journaling, uh, sharing ideas. You know, commenting on current events. And then, of course, at the same time, you're welcoming feedback from others. Okay. And that's the whole purpose of WordPress, is allowing that interactivity between you and your peers, whatever the case may be. You know, I mean, I, I know that cooking recipe websites are pretty extraordinary out there. Uh, and, you know, you can combine WordPress with YouTube. So you can actually embed YouTube videos into WordPress and make it a complete resource for whatever topic you want to create. And, of course, like I said, if you want to have a private diary with only you can write and you to express your feelings, you can do that. That's terrific that you do that. Uh, I do it. won't tell you what my diary web address is, but I do it. Hey, it's great. You can always uh, express yourself and talk about, uh, you know, your feelings and thoughts, but keep it to yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and go on to the first thing. All right, so we're going to, of course, create an account. But before we do, I wanted to express about, you know, target audience and naming. So if you're going to create a purposeful blog, like I mentioned about, uh, you know, the cooking, the recipes, the car mechanics. In this case, I'm talking about baseball. Now, notice that there are a couple of different domain names that this person uh, that I've got here with these two different. The first one is a complete domain name, okay? And, of course, baseball musings. Uh, you know, the key word here is baseball. Now, this person was able to create a situation whereby they have a domain name and it forwards directly to the blog, okay? So we'll show you how to do that uh, in a later lesson, but you can have a single domain name. You don't have to have the wordpress.com attached to it. There are ways of doing it. One of them, of course, I'll just go ahead and mention right now, is called masking, whereby, I know GoDaddy is really great at this. Uh, if you go to godaddy.com and you purchase a domain name, Okay, if you purchase a domain name in GoDaddy, you can actually forward it to uh, a WordPress.com website or a hosted website and mask it so that people really can't tell, uh, you know, when they go deeper into the pages where your site is being hosted. But at any rate, 
the purpose behind this this discussion here is that I encourage you to have keyword rich domain names and this is really important for SEO and also to build an audience. For instance, this is a great uh, domain name here, Baseball Musings. So I don't know about the Musings part, but it is about baseball and baseball fans. There are plenty out there. Uh, in this case over here, look at this one, the Lego Car Blog. That's pretty awesome, I think. I mean, it's about Lego cars and this guy here create some really cool models using Legos and creating cars with it. So why don't we go ahead and visit these websites, okay? Let's go ahead and open up a browser and let's go ahead and open up Baseball Musings as you can see right here. This is a nice long blog. Uh, you know, he talks about baseball. He talks about the pitcher detail. Bad day for agents. If there is such a thing, they make millions and millions of dollars. Uh, you know, like I said, you can go ahead and, and go there. Matt uh, Kemp's contusion. You know, I guess they're all talking about the great, great game of baseball. Look at on the right side. You've got all these plugins that I've mentioned before, uh, all these little uh, widgets that I've mentioned before. And this is a straight blog. L whoops, let me go back there. I think I lost it. I think I clicked out of it. Here we go again. Okay, so again, we're talking about baseball here, and we've got all these different topics. You can click on any one of these titles and go read about that different that particular article. You can also leave a reply, but like I said, the domain name is Baseball Musics, Musings. It's got the keyword. It'll attract a certain demographic, a certain audience, and that being the fans of baseball. Now, Lottie and Doof, Okay, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, we're going to talk about this one here, Lottie and Doof. Now, I guess this is about chocolate. I'm not a big fan about this domain name. Okay, it's LottieandDoof.com. This is a WordPress, uh, another WordPress site, as you can see with the, uh, the the navigation bar being on the left side this time. But still, when one blog or one article is on top of each other, pretty much denotes that this is a WordPress blog. So, but uh, I'm not a key, I'm not a very keen on their domain choice because I don't know what a Lottie is and I don't know what a Doof is. I know what a Doofess is, but I don't know what a Doof is. But at any rate, uh, I guess it's about chocolates and uh, I guess it's also about peaches, onions, and bacon. Uh, Cape Town, I guess this must be, oh, I know this has something to do with food. At any rate, the domain name doesn't really uh, denote what this site's all about, but I'm sure it's a lot of tasty stuff. As I can see right now, I'm having a craving just looking at this image over here. But I wanted to look at this website right here, the carlogo.wordpress.com. So let's go ahead and uh, type in, uh, let's see, I think it was the Lego car blog. Okay, let's try one more time. Okay, the Lego Car Blog .wordpress .com. I don't think we need the www there, so let's go ahead and delete that. Press return, and you will see a pretty awesome blog. So again, this is about model Lego cars, and look at some of the really cool things this guy created. Again, the domain name or the name of the blog, which you're gonna have to come up with when you sign up for WordPress, very important, okay? Uh, I mean, look at the keywords, Lego car, Legos, okay? I mean, and car, okay? So look at the stuff that he, that is amazing. Look at that one. That's a life-size cart. Uh, another amazing, all this is done using Legos. I can, and he's got some videos here, as I mentioned before, you can attach a YouTube video here. So this is pretty awesome stuff. But notice that he's rich. If you ever want to know how to create a blog, this is it right here. Because he's got, he's got richness in imagery, imagery with, again, uh, you know, with a, a YouTube video here. We're just going to watch a little bit of it. Look at that. Okay, again, you've got a car being shown off here. Really fun stuff. So we really can't spend too much time, unfortunately. 
So uh, just going down here. But again, the most important thing to take out of this discussion here is the fact that the, uh, the domain names or actually whatever the case, whichever name you're, for your blog, that is keyword rich or it is purposeful, okay? Uh, whatever the purpose may be. It could be knitting, it could be sewing, it could be hiking. Okay, so whatever the purpose of the blog is, make sure you, choose, you name it accordingly. Uh, the one about uh, the chocolate, I guess it was called uh, Domain and Doof. Okay, uh, I, I don't understand what that is, but I'm not going to knock it. It is whatever they choose. I'm sure they, it, is a, it is a nice looking web, it is a nice looking blog. I mean, it's got a lot of things there. If I click on it, uh, you know, I'm sure they get a few comments. Look at that. I mean, this is, this is a nice looking blog, and of course, they've got a lot of comments on there. So, uh, really good stuff. So, take a look at it. If you want to learn how to create a blog at its beauty, this is it right there, and it actually really tastes, looks like it really is tasty stuff. So that is our discussion when it comes to naming or choosing a domain name. And of course, it's important for SEO. It's important for, you know, attracting people. Okay, so that's about audience building. Uh, fans of Lego, fans of baseball, they'll definitely take note of these two blogs here. All right, moving on. Uh, again, I talked about this. Okay, let's go ahead and set up account. All right, so this is uh, November, I'm sorry, this is <laughs> August 2012. And, uh, you know, I don't know what WordPress.com will look like when you're looking at this, but today it looks like this. It looks like you got uh, Spock over here. And then, you know, basically if you go there, you will always have a, uh, a free sign up right there. I'll go ahead and color this right here. You've got the sign up button over here, or you've got the login button over there for those of you already created an account. This is a good time to go to WordPress.com. You can pause this uh, lesson right here and uh, you know create one if you haven't uh, created one. If you have created one, good for you. Go ahead and log in. Uh, we're going to go visit the website. I wonder if it actually looks different now. So let's go to WordPress.com. And uh, I have no idea what this is for the foodie. But I do know that they change uh, images a lot on a daily basis, but still, you notice right here the sign up free button on the lower left hand side. I'll go ahead and increase the size. Okay, but you should be able to see this sign up free button. And on the upper right side, you see the login button. All right, and so uh, that's what you want to do is to go ahead and see, notice they change uh, different um, images over here. You can actually share your picture if you want. Right, there's, there's, there's Mr. Spock over there. So Mr. Spock, okay, live long, prosper. And there's more photographers over there. So uh, anyways, returning back to the slide, remember the, the website is .com. We're just focused on the .com, not on the .org. That's a whole different discussion altogether. So when you do press on the sign up page, you'll be going to a page that looks like this. Okay, on this you will be asked or prompted to fill in these squares here and you want to come up with a unique name for your WordPress. Again, it's going to be WordPress.com and then there's a drop down here. Uh, you can use different extensions. I believe is .NET, .org also available and .ME. We'll show, show you soon. You can come up with your own username. It doesn't matter what it is, it's for you to know. I like to use admin, okay, keep it very simple. But the password, you know, I mean, you kind of want to use it secretive, uh, come up with something that you'll remember. Now, we live in the age of the iPad, the iPhone, and, you know, you, you, the internet is basically wherever you want to be, it's there, it's following you. So if you happen to be sitting at the train station, or if you're at the bus depot, or if you're, I don't know, if you're bored at your parents' house, you may want to go ahead and open up your iPad or your laptop and uh, and log in and start blogging. Okay, passwords keep keep it simple. Make sure no one knows about it, but at least you should be able to remember it. But if you do forget about it, there is a uh, password reset feature that WordPress has. So uh, as long as you know your email address, uh, then they'll email you the. Uh, password or actually to ask you to reset it. So why don't we go ahead and visit this website. OK, 
Okay, let's go ahead and press the sign up here button and hopefully it'll come in soon depending on the, there it is. So again, uh, you know, wordpress.com, you've got the drop downs here. You can choose whichever extension that you have. It does come with a price tag if you want to have a specific one. The word, the dot com is free. I didn't realize this before, but I guess the dot, uh, I mean, I guess if you want a unique name, you have to press, you have to pay $18 a year, 20, I mean, it's really nominal. So I would definitely consider it. Uh, and if you do use a website that is already being used, it will notify you. Okay, see already. Nope, didn't let you do it. So, see, sorry, it already exists. <laughs> so, anyways, the name of your blog, like I mentioned before, we had, you, you remember the, uh, the Lego car? Okay, so instead of saying my blog, I mean, you know, get real here, try to come up with something more useful if you're building an audience, keyword rich names. Okay, I mean, if it's your own diary, if it's own private things with your own poems and your own little, uh, articles that, you know, that limited number of people will read, then I guess you can call it whatever you want. All right. Now, here's where the privacy comes in. I want my blog to be viewable by everyone. That's my purpose. But if, but you can also choose private and uh, you can also uh, choose to be viewable, but to block search engines. That's pretty interesting because I never knew this feature existed. So I guess what they do is they add a certain file in there to make sure it's not uh, found by the search engines. Well, whatever reason may be, whatever floats your boat, I guess that would be the way it is. You can uh, use whatever language you want. So I will stick with English since I'm too lazy to learn another language. I learn programming languages, but anyways, uh, Learn, thinking about upgrading, uh, again, we're worried about the free blog, but there are other options that you can um, select. You know, $99, uh, they, uh, that's pretty good. I mean, that's how much you normally pay for hosting and everything is here. But, you know, be cautious about WordPress.com. Remember, you, this is being hosted within the WordPress.com server. So, you, when it comes to plugins and other features and of course, if you want to maintain the website or customize it, uh, you've got to be aware of that because, again, they don't want you messing with their own WordPress uh, software. I think it'd be better if you want to customize it, if you want to maintain it and add your own little features and goodies and add more plugins, then you may want to use a, uh, a regular, uh, you want, may want to go to .org. Uh, WordPress.org, download the files and upload it. You and and that be it. So uh, whatever the ones you choose, you can go ahead and uh, you know go ahead and try it. So again, if you please go ahead and create a WordPress. We're going to go into the dashboard next. So if you haven't created a WordPress account, stop this video right now. Go ahead and create it. Uh, for those of you who have, thanks for keeping ahead of the game. Let's go on to the next one. And of course, this is going to be the screen of the dashboard once you come in and you know it's pretty self-explanatory so uh, you know over here it tells you the number of posts you have 74 posts and of the 74 five comments all right so i, mean, I wish there was more but you've got uh, there's tags categories uh, you've got one page which is actually a web page we'll go over that um, and of the five comments, I've approved all five of them. Weird comments, by the way. But uh, again, you you can go ahead and add your uh, create savings uh, content, customize a site, and I think uh, customize if it's a .com, WordPress.com. Uh, you know, you can't really customize it. To me, custom customizing means I have absolute full control over everything. But in this case, you can you know choose a different background color. You can select a new header. You can add some widgets, whatever they have in their library. And they have quite a few. It's not like they're, they're just giving you 10%, 20%. You have a lot of plugins and widgets that, you, that they'll have to ask for. But for the hardcore programmer like us, uh, we want to have full control. But at any rate, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can. OK, so if I already, already logged in, and this is 
uh, my website, webtipstv.wordpress.com, and then once I logged in, this is what I see, okay? This is what comes in for me. And we're just going to run through this. Uh, so, you know, we're going to go through every feature. I'm not going to explain to you how to control the features. That's going to come in the lessons coming up. Again, we're on the helicopter. We're riding across the city. We're going to visit the buildings and the museums and the streets and uh, the playgrounds later on. So uh, this is what basically is you'll see once you've logged in. Uh, I'm going to go to the home part of it. And I think I'm, uh, okay, there we go. Again, it lists the posts, the pages, the tags. Uh, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It gives you the statistics, okay. And again, this is one of my, this is a blog that I just kind of started. Uh, and of course, if you look there, on the left-hand side, you have all these functions and features. On the upper right, you've got other functions and features. Uh, I can toggle between blogs. Okay, I can go to my blog or other different blogs that I've gone to. So this is a really nice dashboard. Basically all that you need to create the blog or even a website as we'll find out. So let's go ahead and minimize and see what we have next. I'd introduced you to the dashboard. And you can all 